Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Uh, all right, folks, let's talk about the Bob Barr report, okay? Robert Mueller gave uh, the Attorney General his report uh, on Russian pot potential Russian interference in the election. On Friday, Bob Barr released a four-page letter to Congress uh, on yesterday. Also, him decided that it was an obstruction of justice. All these commentators have been talking about uh, the Mueller report, uh, how long it is and how it exonerated uh, Donald Trump, the White House. They are uh, all excited. Uh, it was supposed to be about, of course, whether or not Trump or members of his campaign conspired with the Russian government in the 2016 election. Now, Bob Barr says, Mueller says that they, they found none of that. And also, what's up with the obstruction of justice? Barr concluded there was no obstruction of justice. Now, no criminal charges, but no exoneration either this morning on the Tom Jordan Morning Show. I talked with A. Scott Bolden and Monique Presley about this very issue. And I asked Scott about Donald Trump's victory lap. Yeah, really. You know, uh, think about it. An American president is running a victory lap because he wasn't indicted or he wasn't charged and he wasn't found by his own Republican Party to have done anything wrong. I mean, let that settle for a minute. Secondly, uh, it wouldn't be a victory part. This is not the, the end of the investigation. In many respects, it's the beginning because, one, that 800-page report is going to have to come out. You're going to have to give the people what they want. But Congress is going to pursue it with vengeance, if you will, because bad conduct, unsavory conduct uh, may not rise to a level of criminality, but it certainly can rise to the, uh, to the impeachment process. And so look for more from this. Uh, but we got to get the report because the facts behind the decision of Barr and Mueller is uh, is really, really super important. I mean, the attack on our democracy, it goes to the core of our election and independent elections and values. And so uh, there's going to be more over this over the next two years. Trust me. Uh, Monique, collusion. Uh, uh, Preet Bahara, the former U.S. attorney there in New York, he said on Good Morning America, on collusion, the case is closed. On the issue of, of obstruction, we're sort of not done. Uh, Mueller did not really, based upon what we know, again, Barr's interpretation, Four pages Mueller did not, make, did not take a side. No, he didn't. And and in, in my mind and in my experience, that adds credibility to Mueller's report. It doesn't take from it because what you want is a special prosecutor that is going to look at facts and give you exactly what has been found and not overreach. Now, what the United States Congress does with those facts is up to them in doing their due diligence. He did the part that he was supposed to do with the information that he had. And I think once we see the 800 pages, we'll figure out that everybody with the last name Trump still has some problems. So because we can't find collusion somewhere in the code based on these facts, doesn't mean one, that the president didn't obstruct. We know he did. He said so on national television. And two, it doesn't mean that Congress doesn't still do their job. Right. Mm. And then we wait right. for the Southern District of New York to do its job. We're working hand in hand. Mueller found things that weren't part of his purview mm -hmm. and passed them and referred them on to the Southern <clears throat> District. The Southern District picked them up, investigated them, and now they're starting to bring charges. So mm -hmm. we're not near a conclusion. Hey, guys, let's remember one other thing, too. The state of New York is also investigating. That's where Donald Trump lived, worked, and ran his campaign. Uh, my former classmate in law school, Tish James, who's the new attorney general, uh, is, certainly, is certainly looking at it, and they're looking at his insurance practices, his tax practices, and his real estate development practices. The other thing I want to say about Mueller, if I may, and uh, I tend to disagree with you here, uh, is that, you know, Mueller's job was to investigate and reach some conclusions, right? Obstruction, the charge, is one of the few, if not only, uh, charges in the federal criminal code where you don't have to complete the crime. That is, you can attempt to obstruct. And I don't understand how Mueller concludes or is inconclusive on whether, whether he even attempted to obstruct because of what Monique said. We know what he said. We didn't have to interview him. He said it on national TV, and he fired Comey. And he can fire Comey to obstruct justice even though he's got a right to do it. So there's more to come on this, and that's really where you're going to see the House focus on the facts in support of that. And perhaps if they get to impeachment, that'll be the leading charge for them 
if they decide to file those articles of impeachment. This is being framed now. now in the, the, uh, so, Robert, I'll start with you. Again, all these people saying what the Mueller report says, in the Barr letter, he paraphrased, no complete sentences, paragraphs. We don't know what the hell Robert Mueller said. We have Bob Barr's interpretation of what Robert Mueller said. Well, it's unlike we're ever going to see the full report, uh, primarily because it will be improper to uncharged individuals to have all their information and all the uh, facts and circumstances leaked to the public or sent to the public. Why? Well, uh, let's say you're just some dude who works at Trump Tower, and you were interviewed by Robert Mueller, and now they put all of your information out there to the public. You had nothing to do with it. it you weren't charged. Oh, 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 oh. When you say all your information, you mean pri private information? Private information. Like your address and phone number? Or, it can be redacted. Or, or, or even things that were uh, gained during the investigation that could be hurtful or harmful or embarrassing. You weren't charged as a criminal. You haven't done anything criminally wrong. So why should this information about you be made public? So a summary can be made oh, public. Please. We'll see portions <laughs> of the of the redacted uh, report made public. We're never going to see the entire thing. But I do think for a lot of people in the media who have turned this into the biggest story on earth, most voters don't care. Most people do not walk around every day worrying about what Robert no, 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 hold up. See, this, so let's no, move no, no, on no, to no, 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 see right there, hold up. This is the mistake that we make when we say, when I hear most voters don't care, people aren't walking around every day talking about this here. No, I do believe fundamentally as a country, it is critically important to get to the truth as to whether or not you had uh, a presidential campaign colluding with a foreign entity to impact a presidential election. Uh, that is, so remember, the president of the United States, when that person is sworn in, uh, they are sworn in to uphold and protect the Constitution against enemies foreign or domestic. And so, uh, so it's not a question of, well, folks walking around. First of all, people walk around every day or worrying about all kinds of stuff. I could apply that to nearly everything. There's no one thing that every voter or majority of people are just worried about every single day, but it still is an issue. It is an issue, Roland, and the thing about it is, as you said, I mean, you open a show up absolutely correctly. We, no one has seen this report. So the fact that Barr has summarized 800 pages into four suggests that there's a whole lot of stuff. You know, they say the devil is in the details, and you tell the devil is there with this. From 800 pages of four, represents like giving us 2%, 2% of what's out there and his interpretation of the 2%. So I, you know, people may not be thinking, this is not top of mind for everybody, but it is on their mind because what we know is that our democracy has been compromised. We know that there was collusion. Uh, you, you say, someone's gonna say it, there isn't, but the man said it himself on television. Um, and Scott and Monique are absolutely right in terms of talking about the fact that Mueller has probably pushed this things downstream to the southern uh, New York district. But here's the thing. I, I'm concerned that there was some interference because um, it seems to me that Barr could have made, uh, not Barr, I'm sorry, Mueller could have made more conclusive uh, statements. And maybe he did and we just haven't seen it. Well, here's the deal, Michael. I think what you have here is uh, Mueller, whose job was to go through all of this and essentially hand this over to Congress. The, the thing that people, I still keep, the keep, keep, still keep missing, impeachment is not, and, and this is where the Trump people, for obvious reasons, kept trying to make this out to be a criminal issue. Impeachment is not a criminal issue. It is a political standard. The idea of obstruction of justice, uh, this idea that, well, you can't also, uh, you can't indict a sitting president. Bob Barr weighed in on this. Bob Barr said, before he became attorney general, that there was no case for obstruction of justice. So you have the guy who said before he got in that, oh, there's no, no, there's no obstruction of justice, who has now concluded there's no obstruction of justice. And frankly, Congress can't make their own determination, which is why they're saying, no, 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 you're going to get subpoenaed because we want to know more about this because we're not just going to take your word for it. Well, I, and of course, I also don't buy the argument that you have to protect people that weren't charged. They weren't thinking about that with Hillary Clinton and Benghazi and Hillary Clinton in the email scandal. They put out all every single possible document uh, from that investigation. And want to go back. And want to go back. So <laughs> Lindsey Graham. I don't buy that argument. Also, with the with the president, it seems to me if there was complete uh, exoneration, they'd be like, you know what? Release the whole darn thing. They don't want to release the whole darn thing. No. They, they don't want any breadcrumbs out there. In fact, today, Senator Mitch McConnell blocked Senator Chuck Schumer well, uh, from uh, passing something to say release the whole deal. Remember, the House voted 
Yes. 422 to zero to zip to release it. That's right. That includes Republicans. That's right. I wish that that um, the uh, Mr. Mueller would have put in a sentence saying related to obstruction. Let Congress figure it out. I well, but here's put, the deal, though. And that could be in there. We don't know. I mean, correct. That could be in there. And that really is part of the issue, Robert. What we don't know. The, the fact that we are being asked to take the word of a oh, Trump person. appointee yeah. who wrote a document before he became attorney general basically saying this is a waste of time, it shouldn't be done, there's no obstruction. That's essentially making your mind up before you actually got to be the referee for a game. <laughs> but but th this is the issue. We say we need to find out what the facts are. Robert Mueller's been investigating for two and a half years. Right. We spent $35 million, 19 lawyers, hundreds of FBI agents, thousands of pages of documents. If that hasn't turned up the obstruction and the collusion that people are looking for, what no, no, else no. are we... No, no, what no, else no, 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 wait, 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 but here's a problem, though. Here's a problem, though. Mueller did not make an opinion on obstruction, okay? His task was not specifically uh, just obstruction. First of all, there are a number of people who he did get indictments from. Also, a number of people also convicted. The other issue that you have to raise is they asked the judge to de delay the sentencing of Rick Gates until May. How do you stop an investigation and a sentencing for somebody is still two months away? There has to be a reason why you want a delay of the sentencing that says you still have some work to do. That makes no sense. Well, none of this makes sense, Roland. I mean, the fact is that Mueller has a reputation of being a Boy Scout, uh, down with the truth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so th th what he's reported, we don't know. We can speculate, but we don't know. We have these little four flimsy pages that have come from a Trump partisan who right. basically auditioned for his job with that memo. Auditioned for his job. Put it out there. I don't think the president should have to face any consequences. So it doesn't make any sense, but I'm confident that Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats will continue to chip away at getting this whole report out well, to the public. Well, again, bottom line is we have not seen the Mueller report. We've seen Bob Barr's interpretation of it. So that's sort of what we have. All right, folks, back to our whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, calling all HBCU alumni, students, and leaders. Enter the Ford Motor Company HBCU Mobility Challenge and win $25,000 for your school. Building on their long-term support of HBCUs, Ford is looking to improve mobility in HBCU communities through innovative solutions. The winning program will receive a grant of up to $25,000 to implement their proposal. The deadline to apply is March 31st, 2019. Go to fgb.life. That's F right there, right there. fgb.life for more information and to apply. Ford goes further in our community. We certainly thank Ford for being a partner of Roland Martin Unfiltered. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.